Okay, listen up, y'all. It is time to put on your tinfoil hats and put the kettle on the stove because this tea is about to be scorching hot. Now, before we go any further, we got to ripen the mood for some conspiracy. So, Nigel, if you don't mind, if you could fire up the Pensive Moody backing track, please. I got you, fam. Yeah, that is perfect. And actually, you know what? Why don't we, why don't we burn these corners a little bit for style points? Okay. Yeah, it's coming together. But no one's going to believe us if we don't have some sort of vintage filter over the top of the footage. Why don't, why don't we get it with a... You know what? Let's just do a VHS filter. Yeah. Yeah, that's it right there. Oh, this is going to work great. All right. Here we go. This is the story of Kate Yupp, a now infamous muckbanger that stormed onto the scene in April of 2018 with her video titled 11 pound salmon, five kilograms de salmon, incredible hyphen world record hyphen ASMR. In this video, we witness Kate eating 11 actual pounds of raw salmon in less than 15 minutes. What the fuck? <clears throat> Over the course of the next year, Kate would go on to garner attention for her gratuitous seafood mukbangs, and her viewers started to become concerned at how rapidly she was consuming such ungodly amounts of sea creatures. Then one day she had a herpy on her lip and a bruise on her arm, and the whole internet collectively decided that she was actually in captivity and being forced to make these seafood mukbangs for the internet by her captor. I'm Tinfoil Leon, and you're watching a brand new episode of Conspiracy Cuck. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Under the Bleachers makeout session. My name is Leon and uh, pleasure to have you here with me. Listen, I got an email from a girl named Lydia and in that email she says, Please investigate Kate Yup. She is a mukbanger who could be in real danger. Please do something about this. It is very creepy. Is that right? So I go to YouTube, I type in Kate Yup, and I went headfirst into the rabbit hole. And the story is pretty interesting, but I think Lydia might have asked the wrong person because when it comes to conspiracy theory type stuff, I'm one of the biggest skeptics on the planet. And even if some of what the these internet detectives are theorizing is actually true, I don't know what I'm supposed to do about it. Now, in spite of my skepticism going into it, it does get pretty interesting. And although some of the claims are just flat out ludicrous, some of them left me quite perplexed as well. So we're gonna just sink our teeth into this succulent little morsel uh, right after a word uh, about today's video sponsor. ExpressVPN is the king of virtual private networks. It's very easy to use, it's hella fast, and it gives you a safe internet experience with zero restrictions. That's right, you can download and stream content wherever you're chilling. I use it personally to help protect my data, but it's also clutch when I'm traveling because it helps me yeet any geo restrictions when I'm trying to watch my favorite shows, you know? For example, HBO is one of my personal favorite networks to stream because of their insane lineup of shows. But unless you live inside of the US, you can't really, you can't really do it that well. So when I'm globetrotting, I just fire up ExpressVPN so I can go on crushing episodes of Watchmen on HBO and binge watching crime documentaries. And this is true for the lot of them, you know, Hulu, Prime Video, YouTube, Netflix, and it doesn't matter if you got an iPhone, an iPad, your laptop, whatever it is, because ExpressVPN has an app that's compatible with all those things so you can watch whatever you want, wherever the hell you are. It's $7 bills a month with a 30 day money back guarantee so you ain't got nothing to lose. So take back your internet freedom today and find out how you can get three months free by using using my link in the description. It's expressvpn.com slash Leon Lush. Thank you to ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video. We appreciate you. So let me catch you up. Kate Yup is a YouTuber that built her viewer base doing mukbangs with predominantly raw seafood. Mukbangs aren't unique on YouTube by any means, but the sheer amount of raw seafood and the alarming speed at which she would eat it set Kate apart from the run of the mill mukbanger. She also conceals her face with a makeshift mask and doesn't talk which just adds to the intrigue. Now in the beginning, Kate was met with a lot of criticism to the point where she turned comments off on her earlier videos because frankly, it's insane and probably not all that safe to be eating such massive amounts of raw salmon in such a short time period. And some people just didn't like it. But as time went on, she re-enabled comments and continued to upload while she steadily grew. As her uploads progressed, viewers would leave concerned comments about how she was eating faster and more frantically and that she seemed to be getting skinnier in spite of these mind-bending caloric binges. There was nothing overtly shady going on, she was just unusual in a way, different than traditional mukbang channels. And it's safe to say that the seed of concern was planted amongst those that regularly viewed her channel. Then on June 21st, over a year after her first video, she uploaded this two whole fish, whole giant squid video, and that's when, um, she got bananas. 
Now, in this video, Kate had apparent bruising on the inside of her arm and an obvious blemish on her lip. Two things that aren't necessarily that uncommon, but in this case, it was enough to send legions of internet detectives into hyperdrive and all of a sudden this theory that Kate Yup was living in captivity and being forced to make these videos by her captors caught fire. Uh, I'll take Marina Joyce for 1,000, Alex. As speculation about Kate's well-being spread in the comment section and caught fire on Reddit, her whole catalog of videos was being obsessively analyzed with a fine-tooth comb. And some of the things that people came up with ranged from peculiar to downright preposterous. Viewers were timestamping places throughout her videos where they alleged they could hear voices saying concerning things. I've watched through them all multiple times and it just seems so obvious to me that it's just mouth noises being picked up by her super compressed microphone. You can even see her mouth move in congruence with the sound. Yet thousands of people think that it's her captors telling her what to do or threatening her or something. In the same video where she has the bruise, there's a part where she is randomly tapping the bowl as she eats a big mouthful and people believe that that's some sort of Morse code distress signal asking for help. Listen, if I was pounding down an entire aquarium's worth of raw fish, my hand would be convulsing violently too as my lymphatic system tried not to collapse. Morse code tapping on the ball. God, I'm telling you, dude, the internet has zero chill when it comes to conspiracies. She later went on to pin a comment that dispels the Morse code conspiracy, but people were confused because it was in quotations and written in the third person. Of course, this led to more theories of, oh my God, did her captors write this? When in reality, Kate had just copied a post someone made about it on Reddit and used the quotes to insinuate it was someone else that wrote it, which is the correct use of quotes. In that same video again, one of her subtitles that she often includes to make fun little quips about her food, it reads, the meat is so delicious, soft and tender, with a few randomly capitalized letters that spell out SOS. Now this one struck me as kind of odd at first, but as I went through a ton of her content, you realize she's constantly putting these little subtitle captions on all of her videos, and she always randomly capitalizes letters throughout and it's much more likely that it was a coincidence than a cryptic cry for help. There's a few other random things that people pointed out, like this table shake in one of her videos. I've seen a lot of table shakes in my day and none of them look like that. And oh Lord, that's a table shake that says, I'm kidnapped, please somebody help me. Then there's a handful more that aren't even worth mentioning, save for this one, which is definitely my favorite. At the beginning of video, the octopus was randomly are arranged in the shape of Satan. Well, not only is she kidnapped, but she's a Satan worshiper. The plot thickens. So this thing continues to pick up steam. People are talking about it. The views start pouring in on her channel. The comments are going off the hinges. Conspirators and people that are concerned for her to and do this in your next video if you need help, all that good stuff. So August 15th, almost two months later, she uploads this I'm Alive video. The title clearly insinuates that she's been seeing what people are saying about her and hopefully she's gonna give us a little clarification. She also, at the same time, makes her only community post addressing some of the concerns from her previous video. And this is where things start to get a little wacky. Hello everyone, it's urgent to clarify my situation. Everything is okay for me. Nobody forcing me to eat and I have any health problem. These marks on my arms are caused by the sun, just like this wound on my lip, usually called herpes labialis. I love what I do, be sure. Thanks, use full peace and love for you. Look at the syntax, it's her kidnappers, they're forcing her to write that, she needs help. Herpes on the lip, you know, it's a tough go, but it's an easy explanation, and upon further inspection, you can find other videos from her where she has similar uh, cold sores or whatever you want to call them on her lips, so it checks out. This whole like being bruised by the sun thing is a new one to me though, a little confused there, but after a quick Google search, I did find a condition that actually links sun exposure with easy bruising, which could have been what she was getting at. And there's medications that can affect how easily you bruise. I've known people that knock into something that lightly and get bruised from. So I'm not saying that it's impossible that there's something nefarious going on or that she's in a, a crummy situation. I'm just saying that to go from, hey, this is a mukbanger that eats a lot of seafood and then seeing a bruise and a herpy on her lip and immediately drawing the conclusion that she's kidnapped and being forced to make videos, that's like a, there is a long way between A and B there. There's just so many other possibilities in between those two extremes that are probably more likely to be true. Somebody need to call 911 for this, Kate. Cops can find the address from this video as I do not believe this person is safe here. Just stop eating, Kate. You really need help. You have to help yourself first. Just give us more and more hints. We will help you out from that room. It's like a game for these people. Like what, you're just gonna solve the mystery by her dropping random hints that somehow her captor is letting her keep in the video. 
the fact that she's even editing her videos in the first place. It is an absolute tinfoil hat convention in her comments, and it's it's staggering. So the I Am Alive video, business as usual, bruise is gone, she is crushing an ungodly amount of seafood. I mean, the entire cast of Little Mermaid is destroyed in this video. But Kate, she's no slouch, and she knows that she can't just leave the conspirators hanging. So what does she do? Well, she grabs them all by their little tinfoil hat and she fucks them right in the face. As usual, fun little subtitles pop up along the bottom of the screen as the video moves along. And in this case, there's quite a few of them, but there is only four that start with capitalized letters. And when you screenshot those four and put them sequentially, what does that spell? Help! <laughs> I mean, if this thing was a brush fire before, Kate Yup just dropped a whole can of gasoline right on top of that. Pow! I mean, you take a look at the social blade, views are coming in, subs are coming in, it might make sense to keep the mystery alive. Later on in the video, this part strikes me as interesting. It's like she hears a door in the background and then is about to jump up, but cuts away real quick. struck me as odd too because there's a cut right before it so it just cuts to her sitting there like this then the door opens she gets up and it cuts away so it's like it was intentionally left in there it just serves no purpose it doesn't need to be in there and it lends itself to the theory that someone else is there with her but it just becomes more confusing because at the end of this video she says you can notice it I am very well I'm alone while I'm eating nobody telling me what I have to do I do it by myself so she says she's alone while she's eating but she purposely left in a door creak in the edit she's kidnapped obviously or or Maybe she has roommates or she lives with somebody. We don't know because we don't know her personal life. And she just means that she does this by herself like she's in a room by herself doing it. Maybe that, or maybe that's the more likely scenario. I'm just saying. So the help thing strikes me as the first thing that is intentional from her and not just a coincidence or someone making up a theory about what they're seeing. And it makes sense that it was intentional because it was her first video back after two months of watching these theories about her blow up. And I can't say with 100% assurance that she's not in some sort of danger or something. I'm just saying that the most likely scenario in my opinion, is that it was an epic troll because views. So obviously the conspiracy theorists are on red alert after that. And I mean, people are trying to dox her. There's cops being called. People are trying to link her with missing persons cases. Just everything you can think of is being done. And uh, since then, she's uploaded three more videos with a couple of key points for me. Weeks later, she uploads another mukbang and it's got subtitles at the end, as it always does. And this one says, oh no, I'm lying. In fact, there's people torturing me every day without even knowing it. All those who are continuing to spread the rumor. Dot, dot, dot. Sounds like maybe she bit off a little more than she could chew. Like at first the attention was great, the views and the money. Let's keep it going. And now things are getting a little crazy, a little too much. Like it's maybe a little scary. Like people are going to great lengths to dox her, et cetera, et cetera. The kidnappers made her keep it in the video. Look, you can see by the look of her lips that she's scared. Three weeks later, she uploads another oceanic genocide with the delicious addition of pork brains. Again, at the end, we get a little message. Stop worrying about me and take care of yourself. It's lovely. And that brings us to her most recent upload from November 10th, a month and a half ago, called I Lose My Tooth During This Meal. What? It's business as usual as she chokes down jumbo sea scallops by the fistful and then... tooth falls out of her mouth in two pieces and she shakes it off like it's a stubbed toe and keeps on trucking. Not even a drop of blood. Type of girl to break her leg on mile four and crawl the rest of the marathon. Let's see if she can do it. It's the eye of the tiger. It's the thrill of the fight. Rising up to the challenge of our rivals. Yeah. So close now. We're on the last couple of crab legs. Oh, God. Ah! Ah! Two teeth pulling a Jeff Epstein in the same damn video. Then she puts a third on her hand and says it was removed yesterday. What the hell's going on around here? She's still eating the crab legs. 
Oh my god! <laughs> the ironclad will of our seafood champion, Kate Yup. I mean, she's got teeth falling out her mouth left and right all willy-nilly, and she refuses to stop the camera before every last morsel of seafood is eviscerated. You just don't see this kind of determination in people these days. Honestly, it's inspiring. Nigel, you could learn a thing or two. Listen, jokes aside, I'm, I'm putting down the tinfoil hat, you know what I'm saying? No more, no more sarcasm. Okay, now this is, this, the whole thing with her getting kidnapped, I don't, I don't know. This is fucked up. What would compel someone to finish a shellfish mukbang after two teeth done fell out your mouth? You can keep all your other horseshit conspiracies, all right? This, this one has me tripping. Something ain't right right here. Reddit, y'all need to double your efforts and find this woman a dentist and maybe some fluoride toothpaste. God damn. Son of a bitch. Oh, anyways, that's that's the last video we've seen from Kate Yup. November 10th, month and a half ago, so everyone's waiting with bated breath, I'm sure. I want to close up by saying this. All, jo all jokes actually aside now, I was still joking a second ago, obviously. Um, nobody knows for certain what's going on with Kate. Obviously, she's choosing to remain private, and I think with good reason. You can see how the internet gets. I personally don't think this whole kidnapping thing, I think that is such a far stretch from point A to B. Um, but anywhere in between there, we don't know anything about her. She could have a tough home life. We don't know where she lives. She could struggle with some sort of eating disorder or some sort of dysphoria. I mean, this behavior certainly is unusual. All of these conspiracy theories around why she's doing it, I think, are wild. My knee jerk is that maybe we're seeing someone who struggles with bulimia of some sort, which could explain these recent dental issues because the stomach acidity from constant regurgitation can wreak havoc on your teeth. Again, this is just a theory. Nobody knows what's going on and she wants to keep it that way. I know a lot of people are probably going to rinse me in the comments because I'm making light of what a lot of people are convinced is a very serious situation. And uh, I, I really honestly wouldn't joke about it so much if I didn't genuinely believe it to be a bit of a stretch. Now, I don't know what she's dealing with in her personal life on a day-to-day -day level. We all have our own demons, but this whole kidnapping and her sending out cryptic messages via edited YouTube mukbang videos is just outrageous to me. But I truly hope that Kate Yup is fine and uh, she finds a better dentist. What do you guys think? I'd love to know. And before you go, if you could just gently thrust your hips into that like button for me, it would be greatly appreciated. And also, Merry Christmas, happy holidays. This is probably gonna be the last video that goes up before Christmas hits. I appreciate you all. Have a great one. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. Yeah. 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 Yeah.